This is the Chucho transit camp near the Tunisia-Libya border. Thousands have come across this border since the crisis began on February 20th, and still they come. All are fleeing the fighting in Libya. Are they still doing that? This is the border crossing. UNHCR's goodwill ambassador, Angelina Jolie, came to the region at a time which she says is historic. It's an extraordinary time where people across North Africa and the Middle East have been breaking down the walls of silence and fear. She urged the international community to continue supporting Tunisia, which has turned no one in need away. But they've all gone, come so far. So many of the people here have, have been, this is their second time being displaced. Their, their second or third time as refugees. The camp is divided into communities. This is the Somali section. So they were in prison for five months? For six months. Six months. Samia Sheikh arrived with her husband and daughter in the camp two weeks ago. Last year, the whole family, including their five-year-old daughter, spent five months in a Libya jail. She explained to Angelina that they just wanted to find a home. In March last year, they were put in prison. He said, he said that he has told the Libyan authorities that take me and leave them, but they wouldn't accept. And the Libyans would say, well, all of you would go together if you want to, if you want to go to prison, all of you would go. They had detained them first, and then he would say to them, take me and leave them, go, let them go. And they would say, if you want, we can put you also in prison. That's terrible. That's terrible. I hope that this is the, the final place before you find your your country where you can be finally at home and stop having to keep moving and be able to find a place to raise your I'm going to say that, inshallah, this will be the last place. Inshallah. To reach another place to you, it will be the last Angelina also spoke of the need to bring assistance to those in need inside Libya. Medicine, food supplies, and maybe even create a humanitarian corridor for those trapped inside. The upheaval in the region has displaced thousands. Many have put their lives in danger to reach safety. Others wait in the hope that they will be resettled. All plights not to be forgotten.